Nathan Judo. I'm here with West Brom reporter Steve Maidley on a disappointing day. Two goals, but ultimately no points. Yeah, two goals and a good performance for, in, in many respects. Uh, the best Albion have played by, by distance this season going forward um, with the two wingers, McManaman and McLean. They look to be more balanced in, in, in the team. Um, is that Darren Flesher had his best, best performance of, of, of the season? Solomon Rondon um, making his full debut um, looked effective up, up front, could have, could have had a couple of goals. But the goals they conceded, um, with their undoing, there were some soft goals, albeit against a very good Chelsea side. And before a ball had even been kicked, a, bit, a big shock on the team sheet as well. Yeah, yeah, it was certainly a bit of a shock because Tony Pulis had said that Saido Berahino, who of course Tottenham bid for and success, successfully in the week, would, would um, probably be involved today. He said he had no qualms about playing. Him. Uh, we, got the t we got the team sheet and uh, there was no sign of Berahino. Um, Pulis has explained it after the game, said that uh, he spoke to Berahino, um, all is fine, but basically his head wasn't, wasn't in the right place, uh, he wasn't in the right frame of mind to play. Tony Pulis has repeated his criticism of the, of the transfer window, which he believes should close before the, before the season starts. But the person, like you say, in his replacement in Rondon, and, and a very positive performance from him. Yeah, he looked, he looked quick in the he looked athletic, um, he had a hand in, uh, in, in one of Morrison's goals. Um, he was involved in the sending off of John Terry, which, which came out early in the second half. Um, the managers, had, I think, had, had uh, a similar view on that, that it, that it was a bit soft. But still, uh, Rondon's athleticism and, and pace got, got him in behind Terry and forced forced Terry to uh, to bring him down in the referee's eyes. So yeah, a positive debut, full debut, I should say. And you, you obviously mentioned James Morrison. It was a hard day for him, really. Uh, yeah, it, it was. I mean, yeah, he, he, he took the early penalty on 13 minutes, um, which was won by by Cameron McManaman. Um, Morrison had a bit of a debate, shall we say, with Chris Brunt about who should take it. Morrison won that debate and then had it saved by Thibaut Courtois in the Chelsea goal. Um, a good save with his, with his feet, but probably not the best penalty Morrison, Morrison will ever take. Uh, but he then came back and showed some good character, um, played particularly well in the second half, I thought, having been a little bit quiet in the first half, and, and scored, scored two good goals, uh, a good finish. Uh, with, his, with his feet for the first one and then a good header for the second. And another person who played pretty well, Callum McManaman, probably his, his best game in Albion shirt, would you say? Um, yeah, I mean, he, he played well in two or three games towards the back end of, of last mm. season after being uh, troubled by injury for most of his, his six months hit here last season. But um, yeah, that, that, it, it, I think the performance today would be right up there. He looked, he looked quick, showed some good footwork, could have scored um, after, after some good tricks in, in, in the box, won the penalty, uh, provided the cross for, for Morrison's header. So yeah. Very good contribution from the manager, and, and um, I mean, fans will, will want to see more starts from him now. It's his first start of the season. Absolutely. And do you expect um, a lot of changes for, for Tuesday night for the Capital One Cup, or do you think he'll, he'll keep the nucleus of that squad? I would expect a few, but but I would think he'd he, he, he maybe want to want to play a few of his first team as maybe three or four, because at the moment Alvin just need a win, just need, just need to feel what it likes, feel what it's like to win a game, and maybe get uh, get some, some momentum, which they built a little bit of in the, in the second half today. So, yeah, I would expect probably a. a five or six changes at least, maybe, maybe a few more. Well, fingers crossed we can carry that momentum forward. You can see all the post-match reaction exclusively at expressandstar.com.